U.S. Senator trolls Facebook on its own platform using its own policy as Senator and 2020 presidential candidate Elizabeth Warren trolled Facebook through ads with fake news sponsored by her campaign. The politician did so after Facebook's recent policy announcement of not fact-checking political ads allowing politicians to potentially lie in themis year the ads by Warren falsely claimed that Facebook and its CEO Mark Zuckerberg have endorsed U.S. President Donald Trump. PM Modi first world leader to cross 30 million followers on Instagram Prime Minister Narendra Modi has become the first world leader to cross 30 million followers on Instagram this year he is followed by former U.S. President Barack Obama and U.S. President Donald Trump, who have 24.8 million and 14.9 million followers, respectively. Notably, PM Modi has 50.7 million followers on the microblogging platform Twitter. Twitter. WhatsApp disappeared from Play Store. Complain users WhatsApp disappeared from the Google Play Store. Users worldwide complained on Friday. This means that people looking to download the app for the first time won't be able to do it from the Play Store. Media platform Imspower user reported. Imspower user added that WhatsApp later confirmed to them that the issue was resolved without revealing a cause behind the sudden disappearance. Facebook's Libra loses support from Visa. MasterCard eBay Facebook's cryptocurrency Libra has lost backing from payments giants Visa and MasterCard along with eBay, Stripe and Mercado Pago. This comes days after global digital payments giant PayPal dropped its support for Libra. Naspers Pay, Spotify, Uber and Lyft are still listed among the founding members of Libra, which Facebook had announced for global users on June 18. Late Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen's space firm sold late billionaire and Microsoft co-founder Paul Allen's space firm Stratolaunch has announced that it has been sold to a new unnamed owner and will continue operations with transitioned ownership. This comes months after Reuters reported that the firm was shutting down its operations. Stratolaunch had been developing a fleet of launch vehicles including the world's largest aeroplane by wingspan.